Volume 5, Letter 35 There are four aspects of divine frenzy, and love is the foremost of all. Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Calvacanti to Naldo Naldi, the poet. Greetings. Your fine letter was delivered to us at the very hour in which the moon was in a direct alignment with Mars. In so far as it is lawful to interpret the heavens, would one not have to explain your letter to ramble with lunar instability and to be full of the fury and the hatred of Mars? In fact, it is quite the opposite, for it does not wander at random with the base movement of the moon, but is marvelously regulated by the sublime harmonies of Urania and Calliope. It burns not with that fire of Mars, but with that of Venus. It is a fire not with the hatred, but with love. Hence we see clearly what the poets and astronomers say is true. Mars is indeed overcome and tamed by Venus. It is also true what the theologians say, that the divine frenzy is, as it were, above the movements of the heavens, as in no way subject to the stars, but commands them. For according to Plato, there are four aspects of divine frenzy, love, prophecy, the mysteries, and poetry. Love is attributed to Venus, prophecy to Apollo, the mysteries to Dionysus, and poetry to the Muses. Foremost of these is said to be divine love, by which you have been possessed, and from which you will write to us. For this there are two reasons. First, without love's impulse, the other frenzies are never united with that truth towards which the soul is driven by frenzy, nor without love's impulse, or these frenzies sustained. Secondly, when love carries the lover into the beloved, and as long as that love is directed to the sublime, it unites the mind more closely with God than do the other frenzies. And now, where we were to begin praising your frenzy of love as it deserves, we need a poetic frenzy. But since the muses are not inspiring us now, in that we are unable to give praise to our frenzy with poetry, we confirm it beyond doubt, through our mutual love, and we shall always do so.